Today I want to talk about some tips to get through the first day of not drinking. If this is your first time watching my video, I am Megan. I am almost 15 months sober and I've created a community to help resonate with those of you that want to quit drinking. If you want to check out some of my other videos, please do and you'll understand this video even more. Today I have five tips to help you get through the first day of sobriety. I had somebody ask me um, and I was like, oh, I guess I have not done a video on the first day of sobriety. I know it's hard. I know it's scary. The day that I decided that I wasn't going to drink anymore, 20 to 30 days into my first round of 75 hard. I didn't go into thinking that I was ever, I was going to give up alcohol. I actually couldn't wait to get to day 75 so the next day I could have a drink. There is a video called The Drinker that you guys can go check out if you haven't looked at it yet or listened to it, please check it out and it'll help you. Tip number one is you have to eliminate the alcohol. You have to eliminate all alcohol out of your house. You have to dump it down the drain, throw it in the trash so you have zero temptation. I don't care if it's a hundred dollar bottle of wine, give it to your neighbor. That's what I did. The day during 75 hard that I realized that I was done drinking and I felt absolutely amazing without alcohol and I was gonna make this a lifestyle change. I went through all my cupboards and dumped out all of my alcohol. The feeling of relief that came with that was absolutely amazing. I cannot explain like what type of weight came off my shoulders, but it was a heavy one. And I text one of my friends, she's a counselor, and I said, oh my gosh, I sent her the picture of all the bottles that I dumped out. Disgustingly, there was a lot of bottles. Go ahead and dump it down the drain. Don't use it as a souvenir. Don't think that, oh, maybe one day I'll drink. You have to go into this fully ready to accept a lifestyle change and dump it down the drain. I don't care if there's just a little bit in the bottle left and you write a note on it saying, don't drink me, or there's no reason to keep it in the house. If you've decided to quit drinking, but then every day you still look at the bottle and you know that you have a really bad issue with alcohol, when you have a bad day, what's the first thing you're gonna do? Eh, screw it, I'm just gonna open that bottle and drink it. Don't do that, get rid of it, throw it away. There's no reason to hold on to it whatsoever. I was holding on to this IPA that I, it was one of my favorite IPAs and I was holding on to it and so many of you were like, throw it away, throw it away. So I did a video of dumping it down the drain. That was a big deal for me. That was like, wow, I'm actually done with this. I got rid of all the alcohol in my house. That was the one thing that I was holding on to. It was after 75 hard and I was like, okay, I'm actually doing this. And popped it open and dumped it down the drain for the world to see. That was such a freeing feeling, holding on to one of your favorite alcohols and letting it go forever. And yes, I say forever because I don't ever want to go back. Not having alcohol in my house and it feels amazing. I can't stress enough to get rid of that damn bottle out of your house. Whether you think locking it up, writing notes on it, giving it to a significant other to keep it away from you, that ain't gonna work. That is not gonna work, especially if your significant other has no control of say, or can't say no to you and they help enable you. Like that's not gonna solve your problem. Get rid of the damn bottle and save yourself the misery. Tip number two is you have to stay busy. When I first quit drinking, I was working out every day. I was walking, I was going on hikes, bike rides, taking my kids to the river and the lakes, going to the movies, going to the parks more. I never did those things when I was drinking. Staying busy is key. You have to listen to your body, obviously, and if you're working out too much, then you have to listen to yourself and maybe do meditation instead, maybe do some yoga, but you have to stay busy. Go find a friend to go co to coffee with, find a new hobby. Maybe, have you ever, there's like ceramic places, pottery, um, art classes, paint classes. There's so many things. Start a puzzle. 
I mean, I remember growing up doing puzzles and I absolutely loved it. So you have to find a new hobby. You have to stay busy. You can't just sit your ass at home and do nothing. I mean, what's that gonna do for you? Make you lazy and wanna drink more? That's what it's gonna do. Because what do you do when you drink at home? You sit and you do nothing. You have to get up whether you are tired from one workout, maybe do something different. Maybe go through a stroll, go walk around the river, go find a pretty area to soak in all the scenery, go listen to the birds. I don't know, find something, get into dirt bikes. I mean, I know I got some hate for this one, but we started going to the gun range, the shooting range. I live in Idaho, so what do you expect? You got to find a hobby and honestly that is one of the hobbies that we took up I mean, it's always been a part of our life but when the world goes into chaos and there's a zombie apocalypse what are you gonna do run drink your life away no you're gonna want to protect yourself anything that keeps you busy I don't care if you don't believe what I do for my hobbies I'm here to give you ideas and Staying busy is absolutely key to your success. And I wanna see you succeed. I wanna see you not sit around and dwell and think about alcohol. I would love for you to maybe give me some more ideas. Comment below what are some, of my, some hobbies that you've taken up since you quit drinking or some hobbies that you would like to get back into. Things that maybe you put off since you quit drinking. I mean, I know winter's coming up. There's snowboarding and skiing and tubing and snowshoeing. There's so many things. Fall is in the air. There's no excuse not to get outside. There's not as many bugs. The heat isn't crazy. The smoke isn't crazy. Stop finding the excuses and get yourself busy. That is what you have to do. And that is what helped me tremendously is staying busy. I did not sit around and dwell on not drinking. I got myself out and was active and found new things that I enjoyed. And number three is stay hydrated and eat well. So I will go back to me doing 75 hard and I will tell you this every single video probably that 75 hard changed my life right now. I know one of the girls that engages with me all the time, she's doing 75 hard and she's like, I get it now. I understand how it helped you quit drinking. And part of 75 hard is drinking water and eating healthy. So tip number three is staying hydrated and eating well. Like you can't quit drinking and then turn to sugar. That's not gonna help you. You can't stuff your face full of chips, like nasty chips and unhealthy foods it's not that is no benefit to you i know a lot of people have said well now i have a sugar craving okay well find an alternative to that craving there are so many alternatives to sweets like so many sugar alternatives chocolate alternatives i mean i make no bake cookies with coconut oil and uh, cocoa powder and protein, chocolate protein powder and that has helped me tremendously when I have a sweet tooth. I make my own peanut butter cups with coconut oil, chocolate protein powder and peanut butter but there's so many things but eating well and staying hydrated is so crucial. Find some electrolytes to throw in your water. Make sure they're not filled with sugar. Read the labels and make sure it's not filled with you know the nasty fake sugar. I know some of you might hate on this too, but I know there's so many fake sugars out there that are bad for you. Hydration packs, anything to help you through. I know there's some brands that are really good for you. I've never tried LMT, but I am not opposed to trying it. I just haven't bought it yet. And I use drip. I've used liquid IV. Just find ones that are convenient for you to get because staying hydrated when you first quit drinking is absolutely crucial. Make protein, prep protein, steaks, chicken. I mean, maybe you're vegan and you don't eat meat. I'm not here, I'm not a vegan or carnivore channel, but um, I eat protein, I eat meat. And 
I ate vegetables. So when I was doing 75 hard, I was very, I was more into cooking and finding healthier meals. And I actually started enjoying it. I got into sourdough, making sourdough. So there's so many things that you can do to eat well and not make an excuse to go to McDonald's and, and or eat all the sugar that you can get your hands on. Get rid of the ice cream. It's not gonna help you. Maybe once in a while, but not regularly. And it's all about balance. Eat well, drink well, because your body needs to flush the alcohol toxins out of your body. So water is going to help whether you put electrolytes in it or however you flavor your water, whatever. Do what you want to do, but just do not turn to alcohol and do not turn to sugar. Prep your meals ahead of time, whether it's making a big batch of rice or quinoa or a big batch of chicken or hamburger. I mean, something that's easy and simple. I'm not here to make your life complicated because I hate complication. I love simple. I will eat everything frozen at Costco. Yeah, hate me for that. But um, I waste so many vegetables. So I started buying frozen vegetables, which is easy for me. I warm it up with my protein and my rice or quinoa. So do what you got to do, whether however you eat. Just if you need help with some meal ideas or whatever, comment below, reach out to me. I'm sure we can do this together. I was personal trainer. I know what I'm doing for the most part and I've helped people. So I make my own meal plans. I can help you make meal plans. You just have to reach out to me and I am here to help you. Just know that don't turn to the fatty sugary foods. Don't turn to soda instead of freaking water. Just because you're not drinking alcohol doesn't mean that you need to substitute it with a different sugary drink. Some of us aren't paying attention to what we're actually putting in our body when we quit drinking and it's not helping. Get creative, make fun, healthy mocktails, make fun, healthy meals, but just don't give up. So we got tip number one, dump the alcohol out of the house. Tip number two, stay busy. And tip number three, stay hydrated and eat well. Tip number four is you have to build a support system. You cannot do this in silence. You have to tell a friend or a family member, talk to your counselor, talk to your doctor, find an online support group, but you cannot do this in silence. You have to reach out for support and ask for help when needed. I don't care if it's your first day or your 100th day on your first day. It's extraordinarily important because on my first day, there was eight of us that were here to keep each other accountable. And the day was the day that I did my first video on not drinking. And from there, it's kept me accountable. And that is what we need is we have to find a support system some way, somehow, whether that's rehab, outpatient, AA, online support, a friend, a family member, you name it, you just have to look for support. You're not gonna, you can't do it alone. I don't think I could have done it alone. My husband was already not drinking when we started 75 hard, so I don't know how to answer the question if maybe we'll ask if I could have done this without him because he was already doing it. So just know that it's actually more common than not when people quit drinking. I, there's been, I've had clients that have told me that they had a drinking problem and I would have never ever guessed, but they have been like three to seven years sober now. So reach out to somebody, say, hey, I'm going on this non-alcohol journey and I need somebody to keep me accountable and help support me. Don't do it alone. Find my community, engage in the comments. I may not respond every two minutes, but at least every two days. Um, I am a mom. I also am a mom life, real estate agent, mom life, stay at home, comes with a lot. So just reach out and reach out and find a support system. There's so many YouTube communities. Mine, mine is pretty awesome. And I have helped so many people, but you have to engage and you have to be open and seek support. Don't do it alone. Don't think that you can do it alone because you'll fail. I'm sorry, but 
stone cold truth is unless you're super introverted and you think you can do it alone but highly unlikely that you can do this 100% alone you have to reach out to somebody for me telling the whole entire world that I was done drinking was a huge huge help for me so day one of forever not drinking was when I created my first drinker video and here I am 15 months later and the thought of alcohol actually makes me nauseous so you got it hold a friend ask somebody to hold your hand and be a text away I mean I am that person for some of you I check in with you and some of you feel free to text me and call me and message me on other platforms when you need and it helps you so I love that I'm here for you 100% of the way. You just have to ask for the help and seek it. Tip number five. They always say take it one step at a time, one day at a time, but on your first day you literally have to take it one, one hour at a time. You cannot think about tomorrow. You cannot be like, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't get through this day. No, get through the hour, get through the minutes, get through the seconds. You got this. Don't let it consume you. Think to yourself that you got this. I'm telling you, if you're gonna think about it constantly, it's not gonna help you. If you're looking forward to drinking after so many days of not drinking, don't do that. You literally have to live in the hour, live in the moment, and tell yourself that you got this, and every hour accomplished just, it's so annoying because so many of us just focus on when our next drink is, how am I gonna get my next drink? I can't do this without alcohol. Well, that's a lie. That is such a lie. You can do it. You just literally have to open your eyes and open your mind. There's nobody that's going to change your mind for you. You have to want it. And in those hours, you have to do all those first four steps. You have to Dump the alcohol out of the house. Get rid of it. I don't care what you think it's gonna accomplish if you don't. Get it out of the house. Two, stay busy. Three, stay hydrated and eat well. And four, reach out to support. And then each hour will help you. You got this. Don't trade your life for alcohol. Trade alcohol and get your life back. That is what you have to think. Every hour, on the hour, I don't know, just, push through and don't for, don't don't force it just don't let alcohol consume your mind I know that that's hard my day one was July 10th 2023 my day one was July 10th 2023 and the day before I started my 75 hour journey I drank all the alcohol out of my house okay I didn't drink it all because I still had <laughs> lots of bottles but I drank a couple of my favorites I woke up so hungover and let me tell you, I never want to have a hangover again. I eliminated, on my day one, I eliminated my favorite alcohols. But then when the day came that I absolutely decided I was done drinking, I eliminated all of the alcohol. I've stayed busy. I've eaten well. I drink a lot of water. I know I have a naysayer on here that a gallon of water is too much a day. I'm going to drink a gallon of water. Sometimes I drink over 170 ounces of water. And if I felt sick drinking too much water, I wouldn't drink water. I know my body. When I don't drink enough water, I can feel it. I feel bloated. But anyways, and on that day one, I couldn't wait to get done with 75 hard so I could drink and have a drink. But with every moment, like my hours weren't, I knew that I couldn't drink doing 75 hard and I didn't want to fail. So I found things to do. I stayed busy. I marked off my tasks on my 75 hard task list and since I wasn't drinking at the end of the day, I like found things to do. I cleaned, I hung off my kids, Emma and I would put blankets outside and read together. I mean, you just find things. Every hour counts in our life and whether that's going for a drive, going for a coffee in the middle of the day, I don't know. Just don't focus on tomorrow, focus on today, and focus on what you're doing in the moment. And you got this. I promise 
that with every single day, it will get better, but you just cannot let your mind consume your next drink. Like, when am I gonna drink again? Do, am I ever gonna drink again? No, I didn't go into 75 hard thinking that I was done drinking forever. It took me a few weeks and I realized that I didn't want to drink anymore. I reached out to a community and here I am. No desire to drink ever again. Some of you might not believe me, but I believe myself and that's what you got to do. You have to believe in yourself that you can do this. I told one of my people yesterday and I think it's Andy Frisella episode 613. Please go listen to that. If you're not a competitive person, if you're like, I don't give a F what other people think of me, um, what I need you to do is listen to Andy Frisella. He will tell you straight up that you're a loser if you don't want to do hard things. So I'll let him tell you guys that if you're struggling and he will whoop your butt into shape and change your mindset. I promise you. Episode 613, taking that dark energy and running with it is key. I sent it to this person and because I know he's struggling again and I hope because he's not a competitive person. And I said, then don't fail yourself. If you don't care about not failing anybody else, do not fail yourself. I mean, I think failing ourselves is the worst thing to do. And you can find Andy Frisella on Spotify, by the way, or probably YouTube. I listened to him on Spotify. I took that dark energy because people didn't believe in me. I had to believe in myself and I will never let those people's negative thoughts that I can't quit drinking consume me. I'm here to win and never fail because I know people are watching me and being like, oh, she can't change. She's gonna drink again. Nope, I will not. I promise you that because I will not fail myself. So do me a favor and do not fail yourself and keep moving forward. You got this. Please comment below some tips that have helped you if you're sober get through the first day or two because it is very crucial that we can get through day one. I know it's hard. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.